boom, 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 boom. Another win for your boy. This guy knows how to recruit. Ty Banks, as well as Miguel Chavis, did the thing that they do best. They went out there and won. Nigel Smith, welcome to the Oklahoma Sooners. The Sooners land four-star defensive lineman, Nigel Smith, who can play on the inside and the out. He's anticipating playing edge. I don't care. He's a part of the power line. So you know we've got to celebrate it and talk about it. We're not going to bury the lead. Nigel Smith just committed to Oklahoma. If you're seeing this video, we're actually live right now, about to give a full-fledged reaction. We've got a few of the folks on the channel, so pull up and join us. But before we dive into the measurables of Nigel, as well as the video, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. They split up to the channel. Let's dive right in and talk about Nigel Smith. Now, how excited I am that we've got our 23rd commitment in this class, and it's Nigel Smith. And the anticipation is we're about to move up the ladder because what is Oklahoma doing? Oh, man, we're starting to win these battles that most don't win. You know, we're winning. We're starting to win some of these defensive line battles. We're starting to get some of these elite talents. The one that y'all said that y'all want, where's my defensive lineman? Here you go. Let's look at Nigel Smith. Let's pull up his measurables and talk about this goat. All right, you got Nigel, six foot four, roughly two hundred and seventy pounds of man, defensive lineman, consensus four star, top one hundred player in the country. The twenty four seven composite has him at eighty three on three, has him at one hundred on the dot. But nationally, he's one of the top players in the country. And so, as you can see with these, ESPN has him 101 on 3, 162, 247, 115, and Rivals has him at 82. He's one of the top players in the country. And this man can ball. Like, he's not, he ain't no scrub. He won, he's, got a, he's got a great height, great build, especially at that body shape. And he's one of those front-line defensive players. He's one of those players that can anchor your line. He can get around folks. He can muscle folks when you want him to. You just name it. This dude can do it. Plays basketball as well. So you know he's down there in the post, you know, boxing folks out, getting boards and dunking on them all at the same time. Nigel's, he's, it's crazy how he is one of those high-profile recruits without the high-profile problems or whatnot. And the other thing with him is he's not really a guy that does the camps and stuff. And so right now, him being rated 100, honestly, is a shocker for me. I didn't think that he'd be rated this high, even though he's done big things at the collegiate level. And so... Right now, Nigel was looking at, he had Ohio State on his back. Of course, Oklahoma. You've got Penn State, Texas A&M. They were all over Nigel. And the defensive lineman, Melissa Texas, said he wanted to come to Oklahoma. And my understanding is, is that he's been looking at Oklahoma for a couple, for a year, for over a year, and decided that, yep, that's what I want to go play. I want to play for Ty Bates. I want, to, I want them to develop me. And we're excited. We're going to have him on the show at some point. So keep your eyes open. But I'm just stoked at the fact that Oklahoma Todd Bates was able to land another talent like Nigel Smith. Y'all should be excited because I sure am. This is a big win for our recruiting base. Like I said, this is the number 20. This is the 22nd, technically, 22nd recruit in our class. Moves him up there in, like, the top 100. So he's up there with your David Stones, your Taylor Tatums, your Zion Kearney's, your Devon Mitchells. You get us another big-name player that's going to move us up the chain to where this class could finish top 10. Now we've got a couple more defensive linemen we're waiting on. Think we can close? Boy, whenever we finish with a top 10 potentially top five class again, y'all got to go ahead and give those flowers to these recruiters because what these recruiters do is they do their thing and they take their time. They understand that not everybody's going to come immediately. Not everybody's going to flip immediately. It takes time. And so we're looking, we're keeping our eyes open and we're celebrating Ty Bates, Miguel Chavis and their ability to go get some defensive linemen we need. This is what y'all asked for. This is a very high four star. This dude can move up into five star status. I think by season's end, when he goes out there and perform, he ends up a five star. He is that good of a talent. We can watch. He's got some raw spots to him, but he's a good talent. 
And that's what you want here in Oklahoma. That's what's going to help us to grow in preparation for the SEC. Adding him, David Stone, Wyatt Gilmore, Jaden Jackson, the big man in the middle, and all these super seniors we could potentially have next year, plus the guys that we have behind them. Man, the, 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 it's bright. The future is bright for the Sooners. I got to put my sunglasses on because it's getting so bright. I love seeing that we are actually out there recruiting the players that we need in order to prepare to play the big boys in the SEC. And so hop in the comments. Let your boy know. That's Nigel. What you think? You excited that the Sooners won another big defensive lineman? That we're pushing ourselves up the chain in preparation for the SEC? Tell me what you think. Because we've also got another one. Danny Okoye. He's the uh, the edge out of Tulsa at Tulsa Noah on the, the homeschool team. Alabama wants him desperately. He was an MVP at the Alabama's camp. You know they want him. And we're trying our hardest to win him over. So if we go out here and do the things SMU we should do, we could probably win his services close too. I know that he was looking at October, but he mentioned that, hey, he got his top three. He probably can go to September. So we're waiting for that top three to drop. And then we're waiting for that announcement. So I'm anticipating something here this month from our boy Daniel Koye to go with Nigel Smith. And so that class is going to look monstrous. And y'all going to be excited for a change. Y'all going to be stoked. And y'all going to give this man his flowers. Because he can't win all of them. But he's winning a lot of them. And that's all that matters. If you made it this far, you like the content, hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. Love to have you join us as we are talking ball constantly. There's a link to the Discord here in the description below. Please check it out. We'd love to have you come hang out with us. And so... YouTube says watch one of these videos or you can come hang out with us live. If you've watched this, I mean, it's only been just under eight minutes. So come hang out with us. We're probably still live. Chop it up soon. Peace.